That's true. I'm not wearing a hat. I got a haircut. <laughs> oh boy. This be expensive. Do we need two Maui's? I don't think so. Going second shouldn't be a problem because we should be able to ramp ahead of it. And we're not exactly an aggro deck. We got plenty of inkables. I don't think we're going to be using the fishbone quill this time around. Now, a lot of people would say, hey, play your shield of vir virtue. And I say, our opponent revealed Big Tink, who is steel. I'm not about to just put something down that I can't use for a long time. That beast will just destroy. Yeah, it's true. Beast is still uh, three more turns away from them. But heck, by the time I can use the shield, their beast will be ready. Plus, who knows, that be that, that song that just, the uh, Be Our Guest, maybe Beast shows up and they're thinking, ah, maybe I don't need it. They showed blue. We did show an item, though. Okay, opponent continues to not be aggressive. I don't need Gaston here. Oh, they got a lot of their songs in their opening hand. Tinkerbell's not a problem because they're probably going to play Big Tink into nothing. Well, not nothing. Mickey Mouse is here. Oh boy! Uh -huh. That's right. I'm ahead now. Me. I have more ink. You know what I don't like about these headphones? The other ones, they have sound feedback from the mic. So when I talk into the mic, I can hear myself in real time. These ones, I can't. So it, my voice to me now sounds like I have earplugs in. Better ring something. Ooh, I kind of want to keep everything, you know? Given a lot of uninkables. It's about time to have a will huh all right no threat of big tank and take the lead aha uh -huh, see there goes beast could still have another beast but there goes beast Alright, I think we're going to see a Tinkerbell, in which case Pongo just dies. Tinkerbell into his swords. I think that's what's going to happen. But on the off chance, I will quest here and I will not give Tinkerbell the opportunity to attack and get damage in. If Tinkerbell board wipes us, which I think is what's about to happen, then I will just be prepared. And then whatever their follow-up play is, Hades deals with it. Unless they manage to go wide again. Well, there's the board wipe I was talking about. Tink into his swords. where we take care of their board. Stitch isn't going to be drawing any cards. That's the upside with our deck. The only damage we're doing is with Gaston and Maui. And ideally those two do too much damage if the opponent's character just is gone. Everything else just straight removal. So no Rapunzel draw. They only played one. All right, let's see if my invasive characters can take over the game. I have a lot of single target removal. I would like to see more of it, please. What is happening? 
What is happening? What is this? I don't know what is happening. I'm gonna wait for the timer to time me out. Is it trying to make me discard? I think it's trying to make me discard. If that's the case, I'm picking Beaver Baird. I'm not picking nothing. Nothing's happening. Oh! He tried to play... Oh, that's not fair! It did not show me this. I did not know what I was picking. That is so not fair. I'm very upset about that. That was some BS. I did not know what I was interacting with. And then obviously when I clicked on Be Prepared, it didn't do anything. Can't quest now, unfortunately. Big boy Kronk. Kronk quest for two? Wow. Wow. Well, which one's more threatening? I guess these are effectively just equal, right? Because they're not attacking. I suppose we hit the one that's harder to deal with. easy. My commentary wasn't great for the last 30 seconds or so, but I feel like the plays are very obvious. <laughs> We're just trying to race and hoping our opponent doesn't get too far ahead. I'm expecting like a big stitch to fall right here. Hades to grab stitch. Tinkerbell, interesting. They're just trying to go wide. Both on plus five, so I'm still technically winning the race. However, I can't really quest with Aladdin. All right, this is it, opponent. You need to find an out. Did you get it? Swords is a start. Do you got another swords? Cannons for the goof. You are surviving a turn. Now the quest for four. Bongo doesn't hurt. All right, you got to defeat both of my characters or win, but you're only on plus five. Did you get another swords? <laughs> All right, I just like to say I pulled this out of my butt through a pretty damning you have forgotten me. Oh, interesting. Okay. Aladdin's. Two of these. Depends on how aggressive my opponent wants to get, I guess. Ooh, excuse me. Or 
We're not going to be able to ramp super quickly. Not with this hand. I need a fishbone. So we go Mickey Mouse into Aladdin. Maybe into Big Aladdin. Big Aladdin can sing our song. Things get dire, we can also go into Maui. Try not to commit too much to the board with our be prepared. Ooh, here's a color combination you don't see often. Card draw and card draw. Well, that's good. We don't have to worry about removal then. This is a tough decision point right here. I think I have to Maui. In which case, that means I have to ink my Aladdin. Cannot let my opponent just keep getting three lore every turn. I wouldn't be surprised to see Maleficent take Maui off the board. Yeah, it's going to be hard to compete with our opponent though when it comes to card draw. Both of his colors are really good at card draw. Okay, I'm like, that's strange. Hmm. Don't need Mickey Mouse, and I certainly don't need two be prepared. Let's see, I need to be able to ink. Let's see, Goofy is very hard for them to deal with. Very hard. In fact, I don't think they deal with Goofy. Doesn't matter who I take off the board, so I'm going to do the damage dealer, I think. Maui has to attack. And both of them can sing. Go one for it, huh? They all quest for one. Could just take Maleficent off the board here. <laughs> Alright, go get Maleficent. Draw another card. Nope, big stitch? Okay. Not questing though. I'll take it. Another card they can't deal with. Okay. Two goofs. Really? Stitch. I guess they want to draw the card with Rockstar. Could have done the same thing with Maleficent. So I suppose it didn't matter which one you picked, huh? I suppose Little Stitch also can have Rockstar capabilities. Oh, wait, nope. Oh. I just want to cast you. Let it go! Goodbye, Stitch! You never stood a chance. All right, you got enough power on board to deal with my Hades, and you need to deal with something. Cause the goofs are pretty untouchable for your color combination.
All right, this only leaves them with a plus three. They are in trouble. Okay. How aggressive is our opponent going to be? That is the question. Do I play a turn one Minnie Mouse? I think I will. She's got a big butt. For a one drop, having three, that's like a Olaf. He's got a big butt too. Hmm. I don't think I need two Aladdins. Let us get ahead. I see the Aladdin. I see the shield. I also see a Maui. I see something else I'd like to protect. So this, this shield feels good. Stan's a good one. I don't trade with Gaston. They have no lore, so this isn't particularly strong right now. Hmm, or am I inking Aladdin, playing shield, and just setting up for next turn? I have too many five drops. Opponent's just gonna have removal, right? Hmm, gonna get no value out of this Aladdin here if I play it. Even if I top deck the big Aladdin, I don't have enough ink for it. I think I'm going to set up the shield. Yeah, shield's a little bit of a headache for our opponent. It's, it's too early to make good use of it. You know, I don't want to spend my whole turn questing for one and untapping instead of developing my board. But by the same token, our opponent also is like, Ah, I got a Gaston who will put no work in. So I could develop Aladdin here. Again, no value on the lore front. Uh, just for the slim chance that I might get big Aladdin. Who again, won't even be attacking. So I think... I'm questing, untapping, and setting up for a big drop on the following turn. And it looks like Aladdin is likely going to become ink. Yeah, get rid of that Rapunzel. It doesn't do squat for you. I think the Maui removal might be better here. There's someone that's hard to deal with, especially with the shield in play. Let's see it. Do you got the dragon fire? Ketchup and mustard, they usually run dragon fire. I think I'm just questing here. Debating if I, you know, develop the board with my own goof. If I play the goof in a quest with this, they're gonna attack in, they'll lose Gaston, but their goof survives. I guess my goof takes theirs out. I don't know, I'm not ready if I. I don't want to go into a trading war just yet if I don't have to. Look at that, nothing in their graveyard to pick up. Alright, I need to ink something. Not being able to make a play and quest at the same time is starting to get challenging. Really, you're gonna cast to be prepared. Okay. Yeah, I can't multicast here. I feel like my opponent is going to have some kind of removal. 
So I'm gonna play Goofy first. So I'd rather have the quest for three. Plus Goofy doesn't rely on the shield. So I can develop Goofy and Maleficent next turn and still safely quest with Goofy. They can have a number of things, I mean. Two shields is interesting. Goofy doesn't need it, but it doesn't mean I can develop a second character and they can also save the quest. We're gonna see a be prepared here, aren't we? Yes, we are. I played right into it. All right, I don't need a guest on. Build this up, get it to at least nine. Then when our dragon shows up, they're useful. Yeah, I, I ran right into that like a sucker. I should have known. They always have the second one. Yeah, draw your cards. Get your advantage. Oh, tightening the noose. I walked right into this. The dumbest play. Most obvious play. Get your quest in. Maui will take them both out. I still don't need a guest on. Alright, I'm capable of playing my dragon now. Hades gets Hades, gets Rapunzel. Okay, there's my Hades. This will prevent him from going Hades, Rapunzel, and then drawing cards. He's gonna play Big Aladdin anyway. Makes sense, he can quest with it. Plays him as a separate creature. That's cool. Let's see, I could quest, untap, attack, untap, and I don't want to attack again. They're both questing for the same here. And the Aladdin has the chance to shift. Plus, if I get rid of Hades, he plays the other Hades and gets Hades back. He does the Hades loop. I really want him to develop his board here. <laughs> so he's on plus six. I could effectively pay three for this. While that's not super relevant, I'm going to pay three for it. Aha! You don't stand a chance against Grandma Tala! Hades gets Hades. We knew, th we knew that was going to happen. Our opponent should not play their second Hades until they get a third or fourth one. 
However, if they play it like that, I mean, it's just Hades. May as well protect them. There's a good card. All right, Gaston has to go in, unfortunately. And then the Hades loop continues. All right, I have a ton of removal in the deck. Let's see if I can get even one of them. Like my opponent does. Holy moly, man. Where's my removal? Well, I guess that's one of them. This one I have to pay for, though. <laughs> Not the removal I was hoping for, I think. But it does. It does the trick. All right, opponent. Hades gets Hades. Yes, we already know you're super predictable. Unfortunately, you being predictable is not enough for me to overcome the actual strength of your cards. Not good enough. Well, this will break the Hades loop. Hades can't get Hades back now. You know, this Hades just grabs something like Aladdin or the Dragon. I would grab the Dragon just in case I pull out something neat. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. This game fell apart on me. Walking into that second, incredibly obvious be prepared was my uh, undoing. I don't have another be prepared. I think all three of them are gone. Oh boy! Will my opponent be rude, though? Hey! Finally going first! And I actually have ramp? Wow. Strange. I'll keep it. Let's see what this hand does for us. Without any card draw, we are always to the mercy of top decking. All right, opponent. What kind of deck am I playing against? Is it actually good? Well, you're gonna draw cards. You're just not gonna draw cards because of damage. Unless you attack me. I think my turn three is a Mickey Mouse. Let me guess, steal? That Rapunzel's not gonna do you any good, I promise. A lot of removal in my hand. This is nice. I can afford to get rid of a let it go. Ariel, what are you gonna get? A swords? Or are you gonna fail to find? Oh, it looks like a fail to find. I do like that. Oh, sorry, goof.
All right, they can still sing of swords. Which makes Stitch a valuable attacker. And, well, not arrow, because arrow will have to tap. They still need to ink. There's the ink. I knew it! I knew it was going to be steel. I knew it was going to be steel. So, yeah, we can definitely see the swords. No swords! That's fine. I will just continue to be aggressive. They don't have Tinkerbell for the extra point of damage. So yeah, it would have to be a swords and an attack. You got another swords to deal with Goof? I bet you they do. Actually, well, that's fantastic. <laughs> A lot of evasive. And I think I just play my evasive cards. Both my mice are Tinkerbell away from defeat, so. Well, Stitch is attacking. Stitch may be attacking, though, just so they can draw a single card with Rapunzel. Well, I could defeat the Stitch and an Aerial. Or I can remain aggressive here. Let's see. Ink the Gaston, that's easy. It puts me at 8, so I could play a Goofy and a Mickey Mouse. That'll set me up for a follow turn of a Goofy and a Pongo. I think that's the play. I'm just gonna stay on the aggro train here. We're so far ahead now, and we have a huge lineup of evasive. Our opponent could run another whole new world at us, because we took so long thinking about it that disruption could be a good idea, but I don't know. I doubt it. I bet you they have cards in their hand they want to play. Yeah, Tinkerbell's obvious. That's your whole turn. Except for songs, of course. You got two aerials I can sing. Now I could just let it go, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just going to goof. Pongo. Quest with goof. Won't quest with uh, Mickey here. Because I don't want Tinkerbell to get the free damage on one of my evasives. Force them to start using all of their removal. Yeah, this is a tough board to deal with. Yeah, try to draw out of it. Too late, I already got the value I wanted, man. There's one swords. You got another? You need another. Tink can still sing. They don't got another. Now I got six on board, so that's just game, right? That's just game. I did it again! I put the intro slash outro all at the very end. This time we're testing a long video with the bit at the very end. See if I get this uh, looking right for you guys. <laughs> uh, but obviously today we're running a ruby sapphire red blue uh, aggro slash control deck. I'm calling it ice and fire because, you know, algorithm. <laughs> Uh, we're running a decent package of ramp, Grandma Tala's, Mickey Mouse, uh, and then if we need it, the Fishbone Quill. Uh, the Quill is dangerous. We're only running two of them. There's no card draw in this deck, which means if you choose the Fishbone Quill, 
you need to be very sure about what is going out with it and how quickly you're doing it, right? Don't just try to race up to nine to get your dragon out if you don't even have your dragon to play, uh, right? If you're on, you're trying to get to say seven for Aladdin, get to seven. Don't go higher than that with it because we can't draw out of it. So be super careful with your fishbone quill. Uh, Grandma Tall and Mickey Mouse, very easy though. Those guys are going to ramp no problem. Uh, outside of that, we're running a basic package of removal. We got Gaston, Maui for attacks. I got Hades, Maleficent, Dragonfire, Let It Goes. Hey, hey, hey. Dad's recording. Give me just one second, okay? All right. Yeah, be prepared. are also in here. Uh, but yeah, just a really strong package of removal. There's a ton of removal. There's like, oh, uh, let's do a quick count. I think there's something like 16 or 20 removals. We got four Hades. We got three of these guys. That's seven. It's 10, 13, 17. We have 17 removal cards in this deck. Basically a third of the deck is removal, not counting Gaston and Maui being ground fodder removal. Uh, it's a ton of fun. Feels like uh, you're sort of in control most of the game. I wish there was card draw. The next set has dinner bell, and I'm excited for that. That'll be card draw in red. Uh, oh, until then, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Notification bell is important, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.